F.J. Lewis and the presenter of History Today. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to History Today. It has been some time since our last appearance on the television. This is because, apparently, there were those amongst the viewing public who felt that the broadcast then given by myself and Professor F.J. Lewis in some way failed adequately to cover the historical topics of our brief. I can only apologise and pledge that tonight's topic, the Enclosures Act and its effect on English rural population, shall be a most detailed investigation of this most controversial of themes. So, Professor Lewis, I wonder if you would agree that the most perceptive insight into 14th century society can be garnered from the literature of the time, Langland, Bunyan, and specifically Chaucer. Gat hente and sorwe came the lande, when into the quente broke wa the pande. O kinge! I would uh, thou knelte dignally in date, ne scrivenish, or craftily, though it are Indeed. And how exactly would you interpret this passage? That's how your mum talks. <laughs> She's got a bit missing from her mouth. It's a tragedy. I see. See one of those boxes with a drawing of a cow on it, and when you turn it upside down, it goes moo. Moo? Yes, moo. I have observed the novelty item. That's your stereo, that is. <laughs> That's your state-of-the-art Hitachi. Oh, aha, ha ha You know, like an old roller skate that's been left out in the rain and is covered in rust and has got some dog plop on it. Yes, I have chanced upon such an object. That's your car, that is. <laughs> That's your car on a Sunday afternoon after you've spent the whole day polishing it up to make it extra spruce. See that Matt Munro? No, I've never heard of him and no one knows or cares who he is. Yes, that's you, that is. <laughs> See that little bloke off of Fantasy Island? I am aware of his work. That's your hero, that is. You've got, like, a big poster of him on your wall. You want to be him. You are him. But, Professor Lewis... He's you. <laughs> Professor Lewis, if we could return to the subject in hand, A.J.P. Taylor... Your boyfriend, you mean? <laughs> in his book, Origins of Industrial Discontent, he says... He says to you, oh... Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> See that John Inman? I am aware of his work. You've lost a fight to him. <laughs> he beats you up every day. See your mum. My mother, yes. She does it for money. <laughs> Your mum does it for free. <laughs> Your mum does it with you. <laughs> for money. <laughs> she gives you your pocket money and you give it right back. You know when you're walking through a field and you tread in a cow pat and then immediately with the other foot you tread in another cow, Pat. So I am effectively standing in two piles of cack. Yes. I have heard talk of the experience. That's your new trainers, that is. <laughs> That's your 100 pound Reeboks. And do you see that woman at the back of the studio? You mean right at the very, very back wall of the entire studio. Yeah. From here, she is a barely distinguishable speck. I can just, just make her out. That's the nearest you've ever come to getting off with a girl. <laughs> you don't even know what a girl is. 
you've never even heard the word. And that's why you said, girl. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone can be in any doubt that tonight, myself and Professor F.J. Lewis have had a most valid, rich and incisive debate. Professor Lewis, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you.